The title of this study is Reactive Bipedal Walking Method for Torque-Controlled Robot. Torque-controlled biped robots are capable of safe interaction with humans or environment utilizing compliant behavior. However, their trajectory tracking performance is relatively low compared with position-controlled robots. Most of the previous studies about robot walking have focused on center of mass trajectory generation, and those methods require high trajectory tracking performance. Therefore, it is difficult to implement the walking method with the torque-controlled robots. In this study, we developed a walking pattern that only reflects the state of the robot without any time plan. The position tracking control of the center of mass has been replaced by force control. The developed walking pattern is composed with three phases. Initiation and termination of each phase are determined based on velocity of center of mass, center of pressure, and capture point. As a result, the required center of pressure is determined. The horizontal force of the center of mass is computed with multibody dynamics to create desired center of pressure, and the force is generated utilizing operational space-based whole body control framework. The usefulness of the proposed method is verified through the three experimental results. Experiments were carried out with a 12 degree of freedom torque control biped robot, Dyros Red. The first video shows the walking experiment result with our developed method. The second and third experiment results will show how walking is performed when disturbance is applied to the robot. The second video shows the case where the robot's swinging foot collides with the unrecognized object that is on the way of walking. The robot does not fall down in this situation because of its compliant behavior. With the developed walking pattern, the robot walks in the same spot when the swing foot is unable to move. The third video shows the result when the upper body of the robot is blocked. The center of mass motion is stopped because a person blocked the movement of the robot's upper body. The walking does not proceed any further since there is no change in the state of the center of mass. Force is being generated by robot to accelerate the center of mass while a person is blocking the movement of the robot. Therefore, when the person releases the robot, the robot resumes the walking motion. With our proposed method, Torque controlled robot was possible to walk, and robust walking was possible even when external forces applied to the robot. Please come and see me if you want more details about this study. Thank you very much.